Okay, friends, we are gonna talk today about, well, axemanship, I guess, probably profiles and stuff. Actually, no, we're not. No, we're not gonna talk about uh, that. Actually, we're not gonna talk about uh, that. We're gonna talk about a teeny bit, but what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna watch this little home light rip through maple and uh, some stand up, you know, so you can do it all day long and be comfortable and stand up and buck. Um, that's actually what we're gonna do. We're gonna enjoy the, the, the beauty and wonder of the home light XL76. And a couple axes. Uh, Jonesy, your axe is right on the money. Uh, friends, keep your eye open in this video for a couple little blurbs. We're uh, dumpsters here again. We're heading back over to the shop. Uh, new electrical panel. Um, compressor. Yeah, big compressor. I bought it off of uh, Nick's dad as well with the welder. We're getting set up over there, friends. I don't want to be... Oh, oh, I wish we had this. I wish I, we're just going to do it. we got to roof the freaker, too. we got to roof the freaking shop. McGinty, that was a surprise. That was a little, where that was a are you? I hit that one. I wasn't expecting that. But that, that was a surprise. That was a little, that was a little bit of a, a hit, that one. I wasn't expecting that, but that's life. So we'll, I'm going to throw a tin at it. I'm going to put a tin roof on that sucker. I'm just going to Anyways, this video. Want to get it up and outloaded before I get over there and start working. Friends, love yous. Catch you on the next one. Enjoy this one. But I wanted to do a thing. I've been talking about it forever. And I did do some of it before. But you know how that goes. I, you know what? I'll do a video on something. And then like, I don't know, a few months later, not even sometimes, it's like, hey, have you ever done a video on this? And it's like, yeah, I have. So you know what? To redo some material helps. Especially there's new people coming in all the time. So... Okay, check out this plum, made in, made, in, uh, made in USA. Look at this. Talk to me about an axe splitting profile. Wood splitting profile. Let's go down and swing some axes. Jonesy hangs a nice axe, friends. Look at that. He hangs a nice axe. And we got the home light if we need it. Okay. Let's uh, put these axes down there. Let's put our home light here Whoa. see this is it's literally haywire friends in here i want to have it right so you guys can see everything
Beautiful size of wood for that saw right now. 28 full house stock chain, so it's got way more potential to cut way faster. It's a stock chain, friends. I'm spinning. <laughs>
that person would use the chopping, but gosh, I, I just, all this picking up and stuff like that kind of drives me a little crazy. It, it does. I'd rather incorporate something different, but I'm showing this because lots of people use chopping blocks. Leave this space here, friends. See this? Leave it. If you want to bring your bungee cord and, and bungee cord your wood so it doesn't fall off the edges, go for it. But I just wouldn't be using a chopping block. Only in certain, certain areas, okay? So you, you see what I'm saying, friends? You want to have it so there's something for it to hit after, right? Let's do another one. Like that's just a lot of effort, friends. I just honestly, I, I don't see it. Let's get this double here. Actually, no, let's use Jonesy's. Here's what happens with a splitting profile. Done, split. See, turn it. Okay. So basically today what I'm talking about is leaving this space here. Because you can actually go through the chop and miss the chopping block and hit yourself in the leg. But if you've got this here, you're not gonna do that. You're just not gonna do it. It's gonna do a lot of that though. That's why I don't use chopping blocks a lot, friends. So I see guys now they'll stop, they'll pick it up, they'll go like this. You know, if that's you, that's, that's okay. Don't, don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, but well, it's, it's not me, I, I'm not that fella. I, I'm just not that fella. Uh, I use a chopping block more now than I ever have. And that's if I got the right ax, the right situation. Here is not. This is a beautiful splitting ax by, uh, by my buddy, Jonesy. See? Here's our double bit, which I love using actually. Doubles are awesome. This guy, you can kind of manipulate the wood a bit. See that? It's a little sharper. We go. We go. This guy here is all the wrong angle completely. So. We go. I love my double bits. We go. So I switched this up, friends, because I ran up, you know, I played around and I played with the, the equipment tonight. See? Just, just, just horsed around. I just, just the first phase. I didn't, you know, I just, that's the first punch, but actually that's the one I played with right there. This guy, it's, it's, it's off skew a little bit. You can see it. it if, you, if you look closely, it's just a little bit off skew. It goes this way, but I'll just, when I do my, do my uh, thing, I'll just put it in there. It'll work good like that. But so that all that is, is, is that, and I did it by eye. I didn't like, there was no, that's still hot. So you see what I mean? I, I did it by eye. And then I squeezed it back just to play and, and get used to the press and that. This here is probably cold now. Yeah, it is. 
So that can go back here. You know, this is a new game for me, but, but here's the deal. The press is like, the forge will probably end up just over here. Once that, you know, gets out of that way, I'll probably put the forge right here, boom. And then bang, look at everything's here. Forge, uh, anvil, forge, boom, in a circle, just bing, bang, boom, right? So it's actually, it's starting to tape, uh, take shape. I didn't like it turned and faced this way for a couple reasons. The wood was, I was too close to the wood. You know, those old tinder timbers sitting there like that with the press right here. I want that away. So I brought it out of there a bit. And I'll put some sheet metal, some roofing sheet metal. Poof, 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 up there. Boom, 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 along there. Just to, just to take all precautions, right, friends? Keep all the steel that, you know, the slag and that off, off any tinder wood. That's my plan. And once we get settled... I'll be able to, uh, Big Easy left me the jack there so that once, you know, once we're settled, we're settled. We can get it to where we need it. And, and, and that's pretty handy. So I'm, I'm getting close. I feel very nice with this. It's boom, out of the forge, bang into the press, right to the freaking anvil. There's another anvil. I'll put a table here. I, uh, it's coming, friends. It's coming. So very excited. Slow process. I got to... I just about put my freaking forge right there and we have a leak. We have a leak in the roof. So that would have been, that would have been terrible. It would have filled that thing full of water. So it's all dry out here. Believe it or not, I ran that forge for about an hour and a half, friends. And I put these on it before I go home. It's still quite warm. But uh, to be honest, it sits on this freaking, there's no, like, it's not hot. It's crazy how that doesn't get hot. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, so, but that's going to be on a metal table too, on wheels. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that thing. <laughs> that's Myrtle. Thank you all for your support, friends. This is a neat journey. I'm, I'm far from, this is going to be good. I'm going to get this. This is going to be neat. I kind of like the height of this up. Believe it or not, I, I like it. Um... But this will be better once I get up here like this. This will be nice. Just boom, boom. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Over and out. Be kind to one another.